G'day, um, my name's Richard Butterworth. I'm the founder of Equine Salt Therapy. I'm also an Australian, and if you haven't already noticed, we Aussies love our sport like no others, and we'd like to show the world just how it should be done properly. Just like uh, Fox Hunt downstairs, you guys also honour your heroes. We've got Don Bradman and Farlaps uh, commemorated in a similar fashion. Let me show you another one. <coughs> That was Black Caviar winning the uh, Diamond Jubilee at Ascot in 2012. It was her 22nd consecutive win. She went on to win another three grade one races before being retired in 2013, undefeated after 25 wins. Now, I'm proud to say that equine salt therapy originated in the stables of Black Caviar, the world champion sprinter, after, uh, the, the world champion sprinter uh, of the year for four years in a row. Black Caviar was trained by leading trainer Peter Moody at his facility at Caulfield, just outside Melbourne, where we set up the first equine salt therapy chamber six years ago. The chamber is effectively a purpose-designed store with a controlled atmosphere infused with a highly concentrated level of our patented mineral salt, Alti Salt. The horses at Moody's stable were simply required to stand in the, in the salt room for 15 minutes a day, or three consecutive days. Just by breathing in the air, the horses were being treated. Of course, we don't claim black caviar's greatness was a result of our treatment. That had more to do with the mare's natural ability and Peter Moody's masterful training. But we do say our treatment adopted by Peter as part of the stable's regular training regime helped bring out his horse's greatness by contributing in a significant way to maintaining their health and well-being and therefore maximising their performance. Our therapy has shown itself to be beneficial for all horses, young and old, and many other animals, by the way. But it's really proving its worth with the Warriors, our thoroughbred races, highly valuable assets with the potential to become even more valuable, and where peak performance is everything, every time. With these elite animals, equine salt therapy is producing some remarkable results, both in pre-race preparation and post-race recovery therapy. Black Caviar's trainer Peter Moody swore by it, he knew the salt treatment was no cure-all, but he said that benefits are obvious and all contributed to giving his horses an edge over the competitors, the one percenter, as you'll hear him put in a brief video at the end. Peter's been a pioneer in adopting the treatment as we developed it, but it's since been joined by trainers not only across Australia, but also in the Middle East, Ireland, and now the United States. And the ra rapid take-up of our system and high demand for facilities comes down to one thing, the treatment works. So just what is salt therapy? It's a totally drug and stress-free, non-invasive and natural health treatment for horses that involves the controlled ingestion of dry mineral salts through the animal's respiratory system and through its coat, simultaneously at the same time. We provide a purpose-designed chamber where the treatment is administered, the salts and the delivery system. The chamber may be a fixed facility at a training or racetrack stable or in a quarantine facility with a salt room to, built to accommodate one or more horses. Royal Randwick can accommodate up to six horses. They may also be mobile units, a complete therapy on wheels, easily transported to any stable anywhere. This homemade clip in the background shows one of our mobile units in operation. Inside the chamber, our atomised dry mineral salts create a microclimate where the negative ions in the air work as a natural decongestant and antibacterial. This is particularly effective for horses that are exposed to harmful positive ions in stables that we heard about earlier for a significant part of their lives. Dry salt encrusted walls have a capillary action drawing upon vapours from the animal. For a full treatment, all the horse needs to do is stand in the highest salt environment for 15 minutes a day for three consecutive days. That will provide a dual treatment with the horse breathing in the salts to work on its respiratory system while the salts are also absorbed through its coat. The total effect is to rapidly replenish depleted essential mineral salts and rejuvenate cells, 
clear mucus and treat a variety of skin disorders such as dermatitis, boils, mud fever and ringworm, sc uh, scratches, cuts and open wounds, general wound care. It is shown to be a great help in speeding up the animal's recovery from travel sickness and anxiety. The principle behind the treatment is of course the same for human salt therapy, also known as halo therapy, but applied to horses. It started out as an experiment based on my 12 years professional experience in animal husbandry and my passionate interest in horses and the racing industry. I wanted to see whether a holistic approach being taken in managing the well-being and performance of our elite athletes would have a similar benefit for horses. Sports coaches and managers commonly use salt therapies treating athletes for everything from chronic respiratory conditions to allergies and just a general detoxifier. We made all the necessary adaptations to enable us to, to apply similar treatment to horses with almost immediate positive effects. Even we were stunned. We started our R&D at Caulfield, Australia six years ago and have now installed permanent salt chambers in major training stables in Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland. In the past 18 months we've also licensed 12 mobile salt chambers across Australia and we're continuing to sell our licensed business opportunities both in Australia and around the world to like-minded people, veterinary banner groups and master licensees and we're looking for partners at the moment. A salt chamber has been installed for Sheikh Mohammed for the ruler of Dubai and I'm happy to announce that as I speak we break into, uh, into the United States with our first mobile salt therapy chamber opening for business in Ohio. We know some people might think that it's, it's a bit weird and dismiss uh, some of something as being gimmicky and, and a new age alternative medicine for animals like some aromatherapy gone mad. But we're being judged in the field um, purely on our re results. The therapy is now being employed by dozens of professional horse trainers every day. The um, horses are scoped pre and post treatment uh, for, for mucus, so they're clinically assessed daily. From day one we've been effective, effectively seeking independent studies of our treatment clinical trials. Um, they're essential to providing the scientific data necessary to support and explain what our trainers, owners and vets are finding in their practical day-to-day -day work with horses undergoing our treatment. I've got no doubt within a decade salt therapy will be a standard inclusion in the training regime of thoroughbred horse stables across the globe. A great outcome for me personally from this presentation would be to attract independent support of our clinical initiatives. To that end, I have a one-page draft of our double-blind placebo trial, which um, I would happily make available to anyone who is interested in helping make this trial a reality. All our products, the enclosed salt chamber system, the technology behind our delivery system, and our scientifically balanced mineral dry uh, salts branded Aldi Salt, are all protected by international patents, and of course we comply with the international standards and regulations that deal with animal treatment and welfare. By the way, the benefits I've spoken about are not confined to horses but can be applied to many animals. We've already launched a salt uh, treatment designed for companion animals, dogs and cats, and have projections that we'll see it employed with racing dogs, um, other working dogs, sniffer animals, and made available to a variety of zoo animals. Future modalities include cross-flow ventilation applications for livestock, such as swine and poultry, and before I take up questions, I'd like to show you a brief video of a couple of interviews with me explaining the therapy a little bit more. And I offer some apologies because the video was shot some time ago and the technology it shows is first generation. We are now at fourth generation. It's the new technique in racehorse recovery that has some of Australia's leading trainers in raptures. Richard Butterworth pioneered equine salt therapy to assist with high performance, rapid recovery and the ultimate well-being of thoroughbreds. Now, his system is widely deployed throughout Australia as trainers seek to have their horses perform at their peak at the highest level. The main benefits are primarily as a dedicated decongestant. So a lot of the horses suffer from mucus issues and the fine salt aerosol that we generate in the uh, salt room is ingested deep into the horse's lung and that effectively settles on the mucus and the sputum in the horse's lung and liquefies that. Skin conditions are also uh, very quickly uh, 
treated and, and fixed up. Uh, there, there could be um, boils and skin rashes. We've had mud fever and in Sydney there's been some ringworm issues that have been very rapidly uh, fixed from uh, the salt therapy where the salt settles on the coat of the horse which heats up in the salt room. When the horse comes out of the salt room and you know that any bacteria that comes in direct contact with salt is killed stone dead, there's no other outcome, that uh, the horse cools and that salt is drawn in on a very large organ which is the skin of the horse. The main aspect of the performance recovery part of the salt therapy is in the way that the sodium chloride hydrates the cell. With the salt therapy is that it's able to con deal with some of those issues in, in real time so that the horses rest better, they recover better and they perform better. The real horses that benefit from this uh, technology are the warriors, the horses that uh, slog it out and, and compete on a, on a regular basis and uh, to sort of deplete of uh, mineral salts. We've had a lot of success with some older horses who've made startling recoveries. The reason being is that the horse is a grazing animal and it derives a lot of its mineral salts from that grazing action out of, out of the ground and earth. And when you put them in the race environment, you're taking them away from that and they're depleting mineral salts. And this is why they respond so well. It's the, the horses that are really the soldiers, the, the, uh, the warriors out there that are fighting on to, um, you know, keep themselves in optimal performance. But Managar hasn't Moody turned him around. Managar races away and Managar beat American drunken sailor third. Well Richard the horse is now in the salt room as it were. The time is on and uh, it looks like you're set for 15 minutes. Yeah so what we're replicating is a microclimate that you'd find in some of the salt mines in Russia. They discovered that a lot of those small villages and towns had no instance of respiratory illness and they attributed that to the fact that the people lived and worked in the salt mines. So we're trying to replicate that microclimate. So we have uh, negative ions in that room which is similar to what you'd find you know, at the surf beach or in a rainforest or at a waterfall. So that means in your day to day or the horse's day to day life in their dusty stable environment you know, they're surrounded by positive ions which are harmful and, and we give them a 15 minute reprieve and sanctuary in the, in the treatment room to uh, just breathe in and, um, and that combined with a lot of their other activities as Peter said with the one percenters that uh, their swimming activities and everything combined uh, helps to sort of recuperate the horse. The salt is slowly filtering into that room, small particles and the, and the horse just stands there and accepts it. The, the horse, if it, if it breathes, it has to ingest the salt. And the important part about that is some important mineral salts are very difficult for the horses to ingest. In this environment, the horse has no choice other than to ingest those salts. It is a performance driven industry and uh, this salt therapy, it sounds, is all about trying to, to get the best from these racehorses. Absolutely, and that's, that's why the top trainers have embraced what, what I've brought to them. Uh, and with such a, a willingness to explore something which is completely natural and also salt is not uh, unknown to equine professionals. They, they realise that there's some benefits involved in using salts with uh, horses. But with the equine salt therapy, I suppose the proof is in the pudding. Peter Moody joins us. Peter, we're, we're at the, uh, the the box where this takes place. As a racehorse trainer, your thoughts on it? Um, yeah, we've been pleased. Um, you know, we went into it a little bit blind, and uh, we did a, I suppose, a bit of a test period with Richard and our veterinary group, Melbourne Equine, and. Uh, um, you know, while probably some things are a little bit inconclusive, uh, we've certainly seen benefits from it, you know, through uh, not only their respiratory system, but uh, skin ailments also, we've found it to be very beneficial, and particularly in Melbourne where we have that sort of dampish climate and you struggle to dry things out, and horses are not only susceptible to coughs and colds, they're also susceptible to a lot of skin irritations and diseases and dermatitis, and it seems to work well there, and, and, and the big plus for me is it's natural. Yeah. Is it fair to say, uh, from a trainer's point of view, 
it's as important getting a horse to the races as it is after the races to get this horse back and recover well. Is, is it assist in that way? Yeah, yeah. not only in racing but also in training, um, you know, pre and post. And probably post is a thing that's become a lot more significant, not only in our sport, in all sports. Once upon a time a bloke would go and play a game of footy or a horse would go and race and he'd get tied up in a stall, the bloke would play footy and go to the pub, have a cigarette and a beer. Now there's a cool down period and a stretch down and then you want to make sure their airways are good and everything and that's where uh, I believe this is certainly uh, is a great aid to uh, training. And it's keeping no stone unturned to have your horses performing the way you want them to perform. It's those little one percenters that count. Um, you know, unless you've got a black caviar, and unfortunately I've got a lot of them and I haven't found another one, it's that little one percent that can make the difference at the end of the day, whether it's in a group one or a class one. For you, is it two-year-olds, three-year-olds, older horses? Does it, does it discriminate as far as assisting? No, I don't think so. Probably your younger, more immature horses are more susceptible to any type of bug attacking the system, a bit like children, uh, in some ways their immune system's not built, so they're probably more susceptible, but I suppose then in the older horses you get the wear and tear, you can get a bit of, you know, scar tissue in the lungs and airways, um, you know, so it, it's got to aid that, I believe. So one of the first things I did was got my vets to go down to the human uh, salt therapy rooms and, uh, and see what they thought of that. and. Uh, I also uh, contacted some of their leading football clubs here in Victoria that have utilised the facility. Uh, sort of certainly the dampish climate that we have here for a greater part of the year, it's a great aid, but I think in any climate, uh, even probably humid, uh, where horses can suffer from airway problems, it'll be a great aid. And from a horse's point of view, it, it would be fairly stress-free. You're an advocate of some sort. Yeah, well, we've had the room probably a bit over a year now, and uh, as you can see, it's still up and running, so uh, we don't hang on to things too often if we don't believe in them. How have the vets embraced this kind of technology? Vets, equine, physios, they're all part of the racing stable. How have they taken to the equine salt therapy and the idea around it? It's really taken the industry by storm, for use of better words. So, for example, some of the veterinary staff that we've got over at Cranbourne firmly believe that there's uh, benefits in what we're doing and so much so that they've engaged uh, a clinical trial to commence out, out at that facility to prove the uh, effectiveness of, of what they've actually seen and, uh, and realised to be true. So that trial will be overseen by Melbourne University and there's you know, a lot of veterinary staff that are offering their time to conduct that trial which at the end will be published in a respected journal in London called the EVJ and uh, that, that's basically the end game. So there's, there's a level of self-belief with the veterinary um, community and there's also veterinary practitioners that want to protect their own little patch because they have businesses to look after and I understand and respect that side of it. However, what I would suggest to the owners and trainers is that they ask those veterinary people, have they been in a salt room? Um, if the answer's no, then take their opinion with a grain of salt.